Hello from Voltacon. Uh, the use of solar energy has uh, grown exponentially in recent years thanks to technological advances in order to exploit the potential of clean energy. Bifacial solar panels have emerged as an um, alternative that can increase photovoltaic energy production by up to 30% of additional power thanks to the fact that both sides of the panel are able to absorb the sun's energy. Bifacial panels are a type of solar panel that is characterized by an additional gain of radiation on both the front and the back side of the panel, the value of which depends on a number of external factors. So there are three key factors that influence the performance of bifacial panels. Factor number one, the albedo, the ratio of light reflected from the surface to incident radiation. It is not a single constant value, but varies according to the time of the year and the material covering the ground, such as sand, rock, grass or other material. For example, if it is winter and the ground is covered with snow, the albedo will be around 90%, while in the summer, for the same area, the same uh, ground, with a grassy, uh, dry uh, area, the albedo will be around 30%. On the other hand, the annual albedo averages uh, in uh, different parts of the world uh, accordingly. The second important factor is the row spacing, also called pitch or ground coverage ratio. It has an important impact on the amount of radiation reaching the back face of the panels, as there is more reflection capacity for the incident radiation on the ground. The bifacial gain decreases when considering multiple consecutive rows of fixed or tracked structures because the reflected ground radiation is attenuated in its row and nearby panels limit the amount of radiation reflected to the back face. The last important factor is the height of the installation. Of course, the greater the height of the structure, the greater the gain in incident radiation. Now let's look at the most important advantages of uh, bifacial panels. First of all, they look aesthetically pleasing. They have a nice uh, black frame and you also have the option to order them without a frame, which is ideal for pergolas, balconies and other architectural applications. They are more durable because the tempered glass is tougher than the ordinary backseat. They have exceptional resistance to UV rays high temperatures, strong winds, and they can stand even hail. Uh, as we said, it's a back-to-back -back, uh, glass fabrication. It's like a sandwich between uh, uh, two glass surfaces. So the thermal conductivity is much better because the glass can irradiate the heat from the solar cells. Uh, as, we dis as we said earlier, there is the option to get uh, the panels frameless without uh, compromising in performance or quality. They work also with diffuse light, and this is a great advantage because in cloudy days, you can still produce significant amount of power from the back side of the panel. Uh, since it is a better product and it has better thermal performance, it's extremely important to measure that the hot spots of the panels of the panel uh, are reduced uh, a lot. That means we can give longer guarantee for this uh, for this technology all the manufacturers now all the reputable manufacturers offer 30 year guarantee on the performance and 50 year on the mechanical parts um, so the last and the one of the most important uh, of course parameters because it is related to the profit of uh, the of the panel they can produce between 10 and 30 percent uh, of extra energy without investing in anything else. Just from the panel itself, from the same surface, the same uh, size panel, you can get up to 30% of more energy. And it is important to uh, mention that we are a little bit more flexible with the bifacial panels when we install them. It is the only panel in the market that can be installed vertically, 90 degrees, even on the fence, and it could still produce adequate energy. Now, regarding the disadvantages, I'm happy to say that we don't have that many and uh, definitely they are not related to the performance. The main disadvantage of this panel is that it cannot be used by anyone. 
it has to be mounted on a, on a ground or on a flat roof. It is not recommended to spend the extra money to install the panels on a tiled roof. The biofacial panels are a little bit heavier. As a comparison, 425 watt panel, uh, the ordinary one has a weight of 20 kilos and the new biofacial panel is approximately 22.5 kilos. So you get an extra two and a half kilograms of uh, weight. And uh, the last thing that we want to highlight a little bit here is the price is approximately 10% more expensive than uh, the ordinary uh, panels with that are monofacial panels. But this 10% extra cost, you will take it back faster from your investment because they generate more electricity. So the advantages of bifacial solar panels significantly outweigh any of their shortcomings especially after considering their increased efficiency and the possibility of getting faster returns on your investment. And remember, wherever there is light, there is a possibility to generate energy with the bifacial panels. Thank you very much for watching this video.